All right, y'all, let's break down the post credit scene for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. As you know, I want to pull up this comic book panel right now. Yes, this video is recorded a little bit different because my PC is still getting fixed, unfortunately. Well, uh, the first post credit scene reveals Council of Kings, which, by the way, the first, uh, I think, like, Kang, Council of Kings was like 1986 if I'm not mistaken. By the way, if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe to our only notification bells and alerts so you won't miss all types of content that goes down here. And once you do so, you will automatically be entered to enter the giveaway that I'm doing here at 1K. Also, join the Discord. Everything is linked down below uh, for, you know, leaks and just all types of upcoming stuff. And just to stay in tune with the community. So here's where we see, like, the arena style of all of the Kangs which is pretty cool. And I want to point out this one in particular. There, this is the one that I think, and I believe there's other people out there, shout out to like EA yeah, Blossom, New Rock Stars, that I think that is the Scarlet Centron version of uh, Kang, which some people were saying was the other one that showed up with Rama Tut and um, Immortus. But this could be that, you know, comic book accurate version. Uh, maybe though, maybe not. But the reason why I brought it up is just because in this sequence, I know from afar, it kind of looked like they're all pink, but they're not. Most of them have the iconic purple that we know. It kind of mainly looked like that, like which is pretty wild. Then we can see this version here in this like suit, uh, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, if we're being honest, um, that's not too far of a reach to think that could be that version. Maybe, maybe not. Also, another interesting detail is these massive tires, which we could see these in Loki Season 2, which I will be getting into that because that is technically the second post credit scene that leads to Loki Season 2. But I think we could see that just because of what we've seen and, you know, obviously the Loki with this statue. Also, which is pretty cool here, okay, that sacred timeline in the background, pretty freaking gnar, pretty freaking gnar. But this is a shot that really has me so freaking hyped. Like, oh my, you can't tell me this is freaking dope. It's so freaking dope. But yes, this could be a variant version of the Scarlet Centurion. This is what some people, most people have been saying. Don't think that is, though. And then obviously, Immortus. This is the one I'm so hyped for. Immortus, are you kidding me, dude? Immortus. And um, obviously, we're going to be getting into the uh, Ramatut. All I got to say is shout out to Jonathan Majors. They picked a perfect person because what? All of these different ranges. This is insane. Rama Tut. But yes, he did appear in, uh, what was that, 1963 of the Fantastic Four, which is pretty interesting indeed. Um, obviously a huge nod. This was also hinted at back in uh, Moon Knight, y'all. So yes, um... Right over there, we get to see that nod of it, which is pretty interesting indeed. So it's all connected at the end of the day, which is, I like that. Shout out to Marvel. This is pretty dope, by the way. Y'all know I love Moon Knight so much. One of my favorite shows besides from WandaVision and Loki. Now see, Kane Prime is who this guy could be. 100%. I see that. Shout out to Avos because this makes so much sense. I see this. This is what I was saying as well. And I wouldn't be, it, it's not too far of a reach if we're being completely honest. Or it could be um, Adult King, which faces off against Iron Lad. Another dog to setting up Young Avengers, possibly. But yes, this, this one right here, 100% Immortus. 100% Immortus. I love how in the other one, at the very beginning with all the other Kings, they kind of, uh, you know, resemble it uh, i said that so wrong but they <laughs> they look exactly exactly like that sorry about that uh sorry about that y'all we're completely a little bit lit right now but we're keeping this all in the video but yes immortus was the one that pretty much was like okay i gotta like wipe my other self out because cringe pretty much that's how he's seen himself like uh looking back at the past this is cringe and pretty much all forms of kang end up uh just becoming immortus um at the end of the day, technically, well, in the comics, they obviously might change it up in the MCU. But this Kane seems like the one that Jonathan Majors, he who remains, was talking about. Not the one that we saw um, that might still be alive, but the one that we see in Quantumania. This is the one that he who remains probably was talking about because Immortus, 
gonna have to watch out for this dude. This is a threat and probably is the Kane that will be in most likely Kane Dynasty Tees, but also for Secret Wars. I could see that. So pretty much this Immortus was like, yeah, they're about to break the multiverse, right? Uh, well, they're beginning to touch the multiverse. We're going to have to stop them. And what does he do? So whenever he says stop wasting time, we see more sacred timelines, right? And this this is most likely incursions with how they're all intertwining with one another. As you can see, this one's touching that timeline. This one's touching that Timelines are being destroyed. Incursions are happening. This is the lead up. And most likely from the scoops and sources out there, they say that um, the, the next upcoming movies are all going to be taking place in Battle World. So, Mr. Gryphon, let's go back to the other Kane variant that I talked about in the suit. That is most likely who he is. And in the comics, he is the one that bought the Avengers Tower. So, that could be the one who bought that one in the MCU as well, but also in Loki, um, the, the Q-E-N-G. But yes, that prune tower that had the Q-E-N-G. By the way, yes, y'all, I uh, told you, we're recording this on the phone. You got to give me props for doing this. I'm trying my best. But yes, I, I think that is most likely him. If that turns out to be true, oh my goodness, this is gnarly. Now remember, um, Mr. Fantastic and Nathaniel Richards are related. And notice how all these kings appear in the same tick that Reed Richards did and Doctor Strange of the Multiverse of Madness. So pretty much this version of Immortus, <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> version of Kang, um, Immortus, pretty much was like saying all to the other hit, you know, main ones, the bigger ones, that they're late. And then he was just like, how many did you like bring? And he's like, all of us. And then this is where we get the like iconic shot of all of these kings coming out and all the portals. And yes, what I mean by this was comic accurate, legit. This is legit another thing that they did, but they brought another thing from the comic book and brought it straight to life. And pretty much in that corner, right over there, that is definitely the old king. Like, come on now, that has to be that. It looks exactly like it. So shout out to them for, uh, you know, Nailing this perfectly. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Oh, this is amazing. I really love this. I feel like more people are going to be talking about this post credit scene than the actual movie, though. But yes, this is the King Dynasty. The Kings that they will be fighting in Avengers, the uh, Avengers, the King Dynasty. So yes, Victor Timely is the second post credit scene. And oh my goodness, we will be seeing him in Loki season two. But the fact that this says Victor Tomley in his astounding uh, temporal marvels, holy cow. So, yes, uh, this is the version of Ken that goes back to 1901, Timely, Wisconsin, y'all. Holy cow. And I, I know some people are like, oh, this could be a nod to Frederick Douglass, the way he looks. Could be, but no, nah, this is Victor Timely, y'all. But, yes, originally, yes, um... Timely Comics is the original name for Marvel Comics. Some people probably didn't know that. So we just see Loki just shitting bricks because he's like, what? While Mobius is like, you said this guy is scary. And Loki's like, he is. And I guarantee you that will probably be the opening scene for Loki Season 2, Episode 1. Oh, buddy. So that Phineas Horton connection in Easter Egg, the fact that we got the original Human Torch Easter Egg back in Captain America movie. Oh, yeah, this they've been everything is connected. I love how this goes all the way back to the OG. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do not forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bells. So you don't miss all types of content that goes down there. And I'm going to give away a 1K. You'll automatically be entered once you do so. And y'all, let me know how hyped are y'all for the future for phase five i think this is a, a banger way to kick it off